Hello, in this module, we are going to see about API reference of Kubernetes. So I am at the official homepage of Kubernetes, kubernetes.io, and I'm going to click on the documentation section. Please note that you can actually access the documentation portal of Kubernetes during your CKA exam. So this will be a handy reference for you during the exam if you're stuck somewhere. But also note that it may not be a wise choice to choose the reference for all of the questions. So you need to have a very good practice. And for certain things where you feel that you need reference, please go ahead and access this. And other point to note is that you can only access one page, one extra page other than your exam window. So there is your exam window on which you're gonna do the exam. And there will also be an extra window that you can open wherein you could open one of few things, and this is the main thing, main website that you can access, but you cannot access more than one page. You may not be able to access uh, access a link using something like open in a new tab. So in this video, as I said, let's go ahead and check the API reference. So I'm gonna click on reference. So reference is also a part of docs. So whichever comes after docs can be accessed during the exam. So if you're, if the website starts with kubernetes.io slash docs and anything after that, you are free to use it during the exam. So I'm just gonna click on API reference. So we have got all these versions here and the latest version is 1.16. And I think as of this recording, the, the exam, the, the version that is being followed for the exam is 1.15. But yes, we'll go with the latest version, but you can also check the other version if you'd like to. So 1.16 has been clicked. So this is going to open the API reference for all the objects that Kubernetes supports. If at all, we need to check the API reference for pod. Let's go with a simple example, pod. So I'm just clicking on pod, v1 core, and I'm gonna look at all the details for the pod object, which means that what I can type inside a pod manifest. As a Kubernetes administrator, it is a need to actually interact with kubectl or some other tool that uses on top of a kubectl, like you know, which will wrap around the kubectl. So it could be a client other than kubectl which uses kubectl inside, or it could be kubectl, or you can also some, use something like curl or wget, whichever supports REST API functions. All right, so let's let's look at the um, all the options that pod has got. And if at all we need to create a pod object, I'll show you how we can use this reference to create a pod. So if you start here, you're gonna see that the group is core. So this is inside the core group of Kubernetes and the version is going to be V1. And here you see the kind is pod. So whenever you create an object, you need to specify something like API version, which is nothing but the version and you have to specify kind, which is the kind value given here. So let me go to the cloud shell here and let me try to define the pod configuration inside YAML. So we can also call configuration as manifest. So it is being widely called as manifest. So nano, if I have to create po sample.yaml, po is the short form for pod. So I'm just gonna name it po sample.yaml and I'm gonna create it. So I'm, I'm going to use three hyphens at the beginning and three dots at the end, which is like optional for a YAML file. So you'll have to start with three hyphens and three dots. Even if you don't give it, the YAML file is gonna work, but it makes it look in a standard way. All right, so we'll start with API version. So what is the API version? So I think I mistyped it. It has to be A, not S. So AP version is going to be V1, which we looked at the other window. What is going to be the kind? Kind is POD and you have to note that keywords are case sensitive. So it has to be capital or big P. So kind is given. After that, what do we have? We have metadata and also note the data types. String means it's a text. So what I've given here is a text. So AP version V1 is nothing but a text. POD is nothing but a string, right? Both are, both are strings. And we have metadata after this, but what is metadata? So metadata, I'm gonna give metadata 
like this and often and you have to note that when there is a separate section if it has lots of values instead of a single string if it contains multiple key value pairs or multiple values you have to ensure there is uniform indentation within that section for example metadata is a separate section so for everything the complete information in this section i'm going to use two spaces in a uniform way or you can use one space or you can use four spaces whichever you'd like but it is often seen as a standard way to use two spaces when yaml configurations are written so i'm going with the standard i'm going to use two spaces as the uniform indentation for the metadata section so now let's go ahead and see what this metadata has to contain so i'm going to click on this link which says object meta i'm going to click on it so i've landed on to something else so it has got so many things like you know where it appears and uh, what it has to contain so metadata is something you know you, you don't have to remember that much because you know uh, at times you may only be using few things that the magic metadata object has got so in this example i'm not going to use everything i'm only going to use the name field which is a string again so it has to be n a m e and whatever name i want for this part object so in this case i'm going to use po hyphen sample that's it so i'm done with the metadata section i'm not going to use any other value or any other information in this section i'm going to go ahead to the next section so let me just go back one window for yeah go back by one window and uh, i'm at the previous window right now and metadata is already done let's go ahead and see the spec so again i'm going to click on the pod spec link which is under spec so this is also additionally like metadata a separate section so even here i have to use a uniform indentation for all the objects inside the spec section so i'm going to give two spaces as usual so what it has to contain it has got lots of things like active deadline second so many things are there i'm just going to go with the uh, main use case which is containers we are going to use containers on all the pod configuration so i'm going to use the containers section so containers is going to come here but what is a container containers yes this container section is again an array it is not a map or it is not a dictionary it is an array so while you write a yaml file if it is an array you'll have to use hyphens or dashes to separate each list item of the list or each list item of the array however you call it you call it list or array so you have to use a hyphen for each of the list items so i'm just going to click on it and see what it contains it has got lots of things but we will go with something which is very essential which is nothing but the uh, image string so image is a string so i'm going to use image since this is a, a, one container is going to be one list item for the containers list i'm going to use one hyphen and the list starts now okay when you put the next hyphen you have to assume that the next list item is going to start so as of now this hyphen says that this list list item is going to start now i'm going to give image image is part of the list item okay the complete list item so the first thing is image and i'm going to use something like i can use nginx okay nginx is a web server application so i'm going to use it image and after that i can use something else let's see what else we have got we have got lots of things but i will go with something very common we'll have something like name for the container so where do i see the name control f let me try, try to find it lots of names are there yeah so we are at the container array so it has got something like name so with, yeah it is here so name is a string again so i'm going to give name i can give any name that i want so i'm going to give ctr hyphen nginx all right that's it this is the simple configuration because the agenda of this module is to actually show you how to write yaml files or how to use the api reference when in need for writing maybe this is an easy example and you could remember most of the things in the pod manifest but when you write complex objects or when you write something like ingress rules network policies or whatever services 
so lots of things are there and uh, lots of objects are supported by kubernetes so when you write something and when you don't know what it has to contain or when you're stuck during the exam this is going to help you so i'm just going to give control x y to save it because i'm using nano and now i'm going to create the object create hyphen f yeah so the object i think will be created if there is no error in the yaml file yeah it's got it's created right now so let's look at the status of the pod it is getting created we can use the watch flag to see the live status of it yeah it's running now control c to get out of that yeah so the pod is now running which means that we have given few things in yaml format kubectl has taken it and it is using that to create the object and whenever we are stuck the api reference is there for us and we could make use of it so if you if you feel that okay version 1.16 is not what i need and if you wanted to go with what the exam is referring to if the exam uses 1.15 just go with 1.15 and press enter and i think you should be able to see a similar list there similar information there too all right so this we come to the with this we come to the end of this module and uh, we hope this video for, was helpful for you and uh, this should help you in writing certain yaml files or using the api reference yes we have not covered the complete syntax of yaml but it, it is okay if you know how to write certain pieces of the yaml manifest like how you know how to maintain separate indentation for each section and if you know how to include hyphens when it is an array or a list item you should be able to write, write configurations for various kubernetes objects thank you for watching this video